That's because we believe in investing in education and in jobs. And we have to change for change as a for change as a change in this country. You know, my wife Hillary gave me a book about a year ago in which the author defined insanity as just doing the same old thing over and over again and expecting a different result. We have got to have the courage to change. Experience is important. Yet for change as a for change as a with ordinary people over the last year and a month. I've touched more people's lives and seen more heartbreak and hope, more pain and more promise than anybody else who's run for president this year. And I think the American people deserve better than they're getting. We have gone from first to 13th in the world in wages in the last 12 years since Mr. Bush and Mr. Reagan have been in. Personal income has dropped while people have worked harder in the last four years. There have been twice as many bankruptcies as new jobs created. We need a new approach. The same old experience is not relevant. We're living in a new world after the Cold War, and what works in this new world is not trickle down, not government for the benefit of the privileged few, not tax and spend, but a commitment to invest in American jobs and American education. For change is a, for change is a, controlling American health care costs and bringing the American people together. That is what works. And you can have the right kind of experience and the wrong kind of experience. Mine is rooted in the real lives of real people, and it will bring real results if we have the courage to change. For change is a courage to change. For change is a for change is a courage to change. Courage to change. The only reason I'm standing here today is because somebody, somewhere, stood up when it was risky, stood up when it was hard, stood up when it wasn't popular, and because that somebody stood up, a few more stood up. And then a few thousand stood up, and then a few million stood up, and standing up with courage and clear purpose, they somehow managed to change the world. As president, I will end this war in Iraq. We will have our troops home within 16 months. I'll close Guantanamo. I will restore habeas corpus. I will finish the fight against Al Qaeda. Present real hope for change. Led not by polls, but by principles. Not by calculation, but by conviction. When we summon the entire nation to a common purpose, a higher purpose, and I run for the presidency of the United States because that's the party America needs us to be right now. Present real hope for change. It doesn't just offer change as a, for change as a slogan, but real, meaningful change. And I'll lead the world to combat the common threats the 21st century, nuclear weapons and terrorism, climate change and poverty, genocide and disease. For change is a present real hope for change. Present real hope for change. For change is a we can't play defense. I want to play some offense. I want to actually get something done this time out in this election. I want to start solving some problems for the American people and the people right here in New. For change is a for change is a sign people that the real gamble in this election is having the same old folks do the same old things over and over and over again and somehow expecting a different result. That's the real risk. That's the real gamble that we can't afford because the stakes are too high. Present real hope for change. Present real hope for change. Present real hope for change. For change is a 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 for change is a. For change is.